welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry and we are discussing the molecular orbital theory for coordination compounds in earlier video we have seen the hexafluoroferrate 3 ion formation of hexafluoroferrate 3 ion on the basis of molecular orbital theory in this video i am going to discuss the formation of hexacyano ferrate 3 ion on the basis of molecular orbital theory in this hexacyano ferrate 3 ion iron is the central metal ion and cyanides are the ligands there are six cyanide ligands occupying the regular corners of the octahedron this is the octahedral complex and as i said iron is the central metal atom and you know atomic number of iron is 26 its electronic configuration is argon 36 4s2 4p0 now in this central part of the complex there is a iron 3 plus that is oxidation state of iron is plus 3 it's a ferric ion and ferric ion it is formed from the iron by the loss of three electrons and for fe3 plus the electronic configuration will be ar that is argon 3d5 480 4p0 there are five electrons in d orbital 4s orbital is vacant 4p orbital is also vacant so altogether there are 17 electrons in this complex out of 17 electrons five electrons will be contributed by ferric ion and 12 electrons are contributed by six ligands that is cyanide ligands each of the cyanide ligand donate pair of electron and therefore all together there will be 17 electrons we need to fill in the bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals now we try to draw the molecular orbital diagram for this complex energy increases from bottom to top to the left side of this molecular orbital diagram the metal orbitals of ferric ion are shown so there are five 3d orbitals dx square minus y square dz square dxy dyz dzx these are the five degenerate set of orbitals and you know dx square minus y square and dz square orbital these are the eg orbitals dxy dyz dzx these are the t2g orbitals then 4s there is one 4s orbital it's a symmetric symbol symbol is a1g and there are three 4p orbitals that is px py and pz these are collectively called as t1u orbitals to the right side of the di diagram there are ligand group orbitals and six cyanide ligands they form the six ligand group orbitals summation a summation x summation y summation z summation z square summation x square minus y square these are the ligand group orbitals and at the center of diagram there are molecular orbitals of hexacyanoferrate 3 ion now as i explained earlier these are the various bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals of hexacyanoferrate 3 ion especially bonding molecular orbitals have lowest energy and the lowest energy orbital it is sigma s that is a1g whereas antibonding molecular orbitals have highest energy and t1u star this orbital has the highest energy now we try to fill the electrons you know and most important thing is the energy difference between t2g and eg star it is delta o now you know there are five electrons in 3d orbital this is the first electron second third then fourth fifth so five electrons present in 3d orbital you know each of the ligand orbital it is completely filled and all together there are 12 electrons present in the ligands six ligands so 12 plus 5 there are 17 electrons 
and we need to fill 17 electrons in bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals. So this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So twelve electrons. These are filled in bonding molecular orbitals. Then thirteenth electron. It is accommodated in T2G level. So dxy orbital now contain one electron. Then this is the actually this is the thirteenth, fourteenth. Then this is the fifteenth. Now here. The delta O it is larger for this complex hexaxyano ferrate three ion. Delta O is larger because there is a effective overlapping between Eg orbital, or there is a effective overlapping between metal ion orbitals and ligand group orbitals, and therefore energy gap is more, and therefore this delta O it is larger as compared to, and therefore del as or delta o is larger instead of uh, accommodating electron in eg star level electron try to prefer pair in the t2g level and therefore next electron that is the 16th electron it will be enter in dxy orbital pairing will start then this is the 16th electron this is the 17th electron so in this way 17 electrons are filled and you know there is one unpaired electron here so this complex contain one unpaired electron and because of one unpaired electron this complex is weakly paramagnetic and therefore hexaxyano ferrate 3 ion it is low spin complex and it is weakly paramagnetic some of the highlighting points about this complex is in uh, hexaxyano ferrate 3 ion there are 17 electrons out of these 12 electrons are filled in lower binding or lower bonding uh, molecular orbitals and remaining 5 electrons are filled in non bonding t2g orbitals actually you can see here all the anti bonding molecular orbitals are empty Another thing is in this complex delta O is large because there is a greater overlapping between Eg metal orbitals and ligand orbitals. This explains the greater covalent character of metal ligand bond. Again in this complex or, or this complex is the spin paired complex or low spin complex as, as I already explained this is less paramagnetic as compared to the earlier complex that is hexafluoroferrate 3 ion. Now next complex is hexafluoroferrate 2 ion that is Fe F6 4 minus formation of hexafluoroferrate 2 ion. Now again iron is the central atom its electronic configuration is uh, Ar that is argon 3d6 4s2 4p0 now in this complex oxidation state of iron is plus 2 and therefore configuration will be ar 3d6 4s0 4p0 now here there is a loss of only two electrons from the iron metal to get fe2 plus so for Fe2 plus electronic configuration will be Ar 3d6 4s0 4p0. Altogether there are 18 electrons. The 6 electrons comes from the metal ion and 12 electrons are contributed by the 6 ligands. Altogether there are 18 electrons. Now you try, uh, try to draw the molecular orbital diagram. Energy increases from bottom to top. These are the orbitals contributed by Fe2 that is metal ion 3d 4s 4p already I explained about these orbitals then <clears throat> these are the ligand group orbitals of fluoride there are six ligand group orbitals summation a summation x summation y summation z summation z square and summation x square minus y square at the center there are molecular orbitals of hexafluoroferrate 2 ion and these are the various bonding and 
anti-bonding molecular orbitals at the bottom there are bonding orbitals which have low energy at the top anti-bonding molecular orbitals have highest energy and t2 g orbitals remain as a non-bonding now we try to fill the electrons so there are six electrons in 3d orbital so this is the first electron this is second third fourth fifth and sixth so there are six electrons in 3d orbital and there are 12 electrons in the ligand group orbitals six ligand group orbitals so 12 plus 6 that is total 18 electrons to be accommodated in various bonding non-bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals out of 18 electrons you can see 12 electrons one by one filled from a1g to t1u to eg level so all the bonding molecular orbitals are filled with these 12 electrons preferably comes from ligands or ligand group orbitals so 13th electron again gets accommodated in non-bonding t2g level that is in dxy orbital then this is the actually this was the 13th electron this was the 14th this is the 15th electron now for 16th electron there are two options whether it is paired with the electron present in dxy or it is entered in eg star level for this actually complex delta o is smaller because there is no effective overlap between metal orbitals and ligand group orbitals and therefore delta o is smaller and therefore as delta o is smaller electron try to enter in eg star level so this is the 16th electron then 17th and 18th electron pair with the electron present in dxy so this is the filling of electrons you can see the total number of unfilled electrons are four so number of unfilled electrons are four and as there are four unpaired electrons this complex is paramagnetic and this is high spin strongly paramagnetic complex so this is about the formation of hexafluoroferrate second ion the some of the highlighting points about this complex are in this complex actually there are 18 electrons 12 electrons are filled in bonding molecular orbitals and 6 electrons are distributed in t2g and eg star level or orbitals in this complex delta o is less which is attributed to lesser extent of overlap between eg orbitals of metal and the suitable ligand group orbitals and this complex contain four unpaired electrons and therefore this complex is strongly paramagnetic and it is high spin complex.